Today we are going to learn how to prime the ECMO circuit. We are ready with our demo ECMO circuit for priming. So let's start. First of all, we have to connect the oxygenator with its holder. It should be connected carefully. As soon as oxygenator is connected, next step is to connect the cone with the drive unit. And it must be noted that there should not be any kink between oxygenator and the drive unit. The remaining circuit is to be hanged so that the remaining work could be done without any problem. We generally prime our circuit with 1 liter of NS pouch, the NS wire flex. The 1 liter pouch is enough for priming the whole circuit. The priming tube should be clamped After that, we have to connect the priming tube with the NS 1x1. And it should be connected carefully so that there should not be any leakage. As soon as the connection is done, the NS back is to be hanged with IV stand. It is to be noted the quick prime tube which is connected proximally to the rotor flow drive unit is open from the circuit or disconnected from the circuit and made air free. This is done for priming the circuit without any form of bubbles or air trapped inside it. When it is primed, the line is clamped. And it is connected to the proximal port once again. A clamp is placed between the two quick prime port. The three rows are opened. The console is still not started. The priming is done now is by gravitation.
first step is to make the cone air free the remaining part will be air freed by gravitation now we are starting the machine or the main console At first the console is to be zero. The another port 3 way is opened so that the air from the circuit get out. No flow is sensing right now. Only it's showing the RPM. To sense the flow, we have to apply jelly. This is the normal jelly which is used in Echo. It is also called supersonic jelly. It removes the gap between the cone and the sensor. Now the machine is sensing the flow. The circuit is lowered so that the air could move upward. See how the air is moving out of the circuit. If there is any micro bubble present in the circuit, it is removed by tapping the circuit with a clamp. The clamp portion between the two priming port should be looked carefully because sometimes 
a micro bubble is present in that position. As there is no bubble at that position, we remove the clamp slowly. See the flow is increasing. As soon as the whole circuit is deaired, the quick prime port three way are closed. Now the fluid is moving inside the circuit only. Now is the time to connect the gas port with oxygen tube from the blender. To maintain the blood temperature, the oxygenator is connected with the hemotherm. Connecting the hemotherm is done carefully and that time the hemotherm remain off. The connection is established. Now we are ready for passing the line to the doctors who are cannulating. Finally we check the all the connection before the passing the line. Now it is ready to pass the line to the doctors. setting the temperature to the desired temperature 